Hello guys, welcome to my channel and today we are going to work on another hacker rank problem and the problem is Java DQ. So I have already solved this problem because I wanted to show you guys an easiest solution and that I can provide only if I have tried it first, right? And um, before we actually work on this problem, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please do. There's an easy and uh, quick step that you just have to hit that red subscribe button and it is going to help me a lot. So um, let's not waste any time and see what the problem says. Uh, so here you can see that uh, here we have DQ definition which is double ended Q which means that we can uh, iterate or uh, remove or add elements from either side meaning front and back and if not uh, if if this is new if dq is new for you i hope every one of us has uh, has already used linked list in java and linked list implements dq so we already know about this even if we didn't knew about this right so uh, there are two ways to implement dq here uh, we can either use it through linked list or array dq i didn't knew about array dq so that's why I have this talk and we are going to use few methods uh, from not few only one uh, method from uh, array DQ so we needed to know about this one so in this problem we will be uh, given a list of items that we are going to insert into our DQ the only catch is that there is going to be a threshold or capacity to our DQ meaning that we can only hold a certain number of items so here we have given three as that capacity that means that at a time we can only hold three items in our DQ so here you can see that 535 is going to be our first um, DQ right and we have to create contiguous sub array so when we talk about contiguous sub array uh, it is going to be like uh, 535 when we have 3 as a size of that array then it is going to be 352 then 523 and then 232 now let's talk about DQ language so in DQ language uh, when we see contiguous sub array uh, the initial DQ is going to hold these three values now I have to keep these two values and then this third value so what should I do I can remove so here you can see that elements can be added or removed from either the front or back so that's the queue so here we are going to remove the element from the front and keep holding the other elements and then add the third one and keep at it so in this one we are going to remove three so then it is going to be this sub array then we are going to remove five then it is going to be this sub array so in each sub arrays so we have four sub arrays here in each sub array we have to maintain unique elements in that sub array and then from each sub array we have to check what is the maximum unique number count in any sub array possible and then we have to just return that amount that's it so when we talk about unique we know something in java which is set so we are going to use that data structure to hold down each and every element and then maintain an um, account like the max of the current sub array so that we can keep comparing it with the other sub arrays unique elements and somehow at the end of the iteration we will see that max uh, out value which we can later on return so that's the theoretical part uh, practically like I said we have to maintain two things one the max variable which is initially going to hold min value and then we have to have a set okay so we have things ready now while we are iterating we have to do two things one add and second check if we have received the threshold or capacity or not so initially we are just going to add so 
first I'm going to add in DQ so here I'm going to do this and then I'm going to add in set right now we have to check if we are having the required capacity or not so we can do that through DQ now you would be asking why not set so set contains unique elements and if you just see our first sub array it holds two duplicate numbers so in our set it is only going to be three and five so the size here is not going to be accurate enough so that's why DQ so here I'll just do is if it is equals the capacity if it is equals the capacity we have to remove right so we can remove from DQ now when we are going to remove from DQ and this method you can check here it retrieves and removes the head of the queue so it is also going to return me the the uh, the required or the deleted number so when we remove why do we need the deleted number so uh, for that I am going to do one thing Okay, so let me quickly run this. So in my first, uh, so I, I'll just go step by step uh, and I'm really sorry for going so slow because I want to explain each and every small and big step. So that's why it is going to take some time, but bear with me. So uh, in the first uh, iteration, I'm going to get five. So that's why my DQ is having five. This is my DQ and this is my set, okay? now I got the second element 3 so that's why I have 5 3 in my DQ and 3 5 in my set or it doesn't matter so in this one I got my first sub array 5 3 5 now my set is 3 5 now let's say I remove uh, 5 from my DQ so it is only going to do 3 5 but I also have to remove from set in case I don't have duplicates but if I have duplicates I don't want to delete 5 because if I do then there will not be any record of having 5 right because uh, we had 2 5 but according to set we all had only 1 5 so that's why I have to get the item which we are going to delete so so that I can check if there is an existence of this item in the DQ now after deletion if there is the existence of this item in the DQ that means that they were duplicates and if they were duplicates then I don't have to touch set but if there is no duplicate of this deleted item that means that I can delete from set so that's how I have to distinguish right so what do I have to do so I after removing uh, from the set I just have to do if if DQ dot contains item so if it is not containing the item that means that they were not duplicates so that so then we can uh, remove from set also so now if I print my set here also you will see everything good till now so here uh, we have set and DQ and this is my first sub array and this is after deletion this is my DQ and then this is my set right so this this looks good uh, till here also we can see that everything is good now I have to maintain the max so before deletion I have my sub array so here uh, I know like my unique elements are in my set and that is the only thing that I have to check 
so here I can directly do set dot size if it is exceeding the current max then make it max and after my for loop is ex like terminating or ending I just have to print this max value and that's it that's our entire code so if I run this code here we have three and here we have three so that's good I just have to comment this out I hope the explanation is clear uh, if not ask me your query in the comment section and I will help so I'll just do this run worked fine submit the code yeah oh okay yeah it worked fine so that is it for this video and please let me know if there is any query uh, otherwise i hope i will meet you in the next one till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye